Hey everyone, my name is Nathan Cooper and welcome back to SIS Film Breakdowns. Our next episode highlights Pittsburgh edge rusher Patrick Jones. A fifth year senior, Jones returns to Pitt in one of the scariest defenses in all of college football. He was named a second team all ACC player in 2019 after piling up 42 tackles and eight and a half sacks. We're going to take a look at some of his plays from last season's games against Penn State, UCF, and Duke to see what all he brings to the table. Let's start out by watching a few plays of Jones stunning and working back to the inside. The first play comes from the Penn State game with him lined up in a wide nine. Now at the snap, he's quick off the ball and after a few yards upfield, loops inside to the A gap and splits the guard and running back. If he doesn't get knocked off balance here at the last second coming through, there's a good chance he makes it to the quarterback in time and before he gets the ball away. Nonetheless, this is a really good effort play by Jones to get into the backfield and get pressure onto the quarterback. Now let's take a look at the Duke game. This time he's lined up more in a five or seven technique to the right of the offensive formation. And at the snap, he's quick off the ball yet again. He's a little high at the point of attack here, but he's able to use a quick arm over move to get by the tackle and into the backfield. He's nearly able to get a hit on the quarterback, but again, he's slightly too late here. Let's stick with the Duke game and finally watch him finish here. There's under a minute left in the game and Pitt is up by three. He's lined up in the same spot as the last play and it's gonna look nearly identical. Off the ball here, he jabs outside and then gives the swim back inside to split the tackle on the guard. He bursts to the quarterback and this time he gets there in time to force the sack fumble that Pitt recovers to secure the win. That's a big time clutch play by Jones. Let's take a look now at Jones' overall production during the 2019 season. He pressured quarterbacks 55 times with 39 hurries, 31 hits, and 10 knockdowns. The 55 total plays with pressure ranked tied for 11th in the country. He also added 8.5 sacks and 4 forced fumbles. Now let's watch some plays of his speed around the edge. This play is back from the Penn State game, and we're going to watch both angles here with the first at real speed to get a sense of his quickness and explosion he has off the line. Now at the snap, we see that quickness and explosion, and then an exaggerated dip and rip at the apex of the rush. This is another near miss as he's only able to get a hand on the quarterback as he falls aside. The other view on the tight copy, we see he's lined up in that wide nine and get a really good look here at that dip and rip, but just isn't able to flatten his route enough to the quarterback to make a play as the quarterback's able to escape and make a big gain here with the scramble. Now from the Duke game, he's lined up in more of a tighter nine to the right of the offense. And off the ball, he shows good explosion and comes with a dip rip yet again. This time he's able to flatten out at the top and get around to the quarterback for another sack fumble and another big time play. Let's go to the UCF game now. This time he's lined up to the left of the offensive formation. On a few plays now, we've seen Jones struggle to flatten some at the apex. This play gives a good look at some rigidness and tightness in his hips. Now with the offensive line sliding at the snap, the tight end steps up to take Jones. Jones comes off and gives a decent slap rip, but once he gets by the tight end, and even though he's a little off balance, he struggles to bend and really turn to get to the quarterback and show great flexibility. However, once he gathers himself, he has the burst to get to the quarterback and get another hit on him. But again, he's just a little too late to make the play. Now let's stay with the UCF game and take a look at a play from late in the game. With Jones possessing some tight hips and rigidness, this shows the smarts that he has in order to adjust. He's again to the left of the offense and at the snap, after a few steps, Jones turns his body to square up to the tackle. Now instead of having to bend and turn his body at the apex, he's already turned and just has to beat the blocker and take a straight line to the quarterback. He gives a good slap rip to the tackle and even though he does get pushed just a little bit, Jones has the relentlessness and effort level to make it to the quarterback anyway for a big sack late in the game. 
We just saw Jones with a big sack late in the UCF game, and earlier we saw the sack fumble to end the Duke game. When we look at the clutch times during games, Jones has put up good numbers. Jones racked up 13 of his pressures and three of his sacks in the fourth quarter and overtime during the 2019 season. And when looking at third and fourth down plays, he accounted for 24 pressures, five and a half sacks, and two forced fumbles. Jones is someone that can be counted on late in games or drives to come up with a big play. For these final three plays, let's watch Jones as a run defender. This first one is from the Duke game and he's actually standing up on the edge this time. Something he did sparingly in 2019 and this was more of a game plan adjustment against Duke. At the snap, he does a good job of immediately squaring himself to the line and then squeezes down as he reads the mesh point. Once the ball is given to the back, he bursts to close on the running back for a strong tackle for just a short gain on the play. Now let's go back to the UCF game for an inside power run. Now at the snap, Jones comes off and we can get a look at the tightness in his hips. He just doesn't look fluid getting down the line. We saw the rigidness on the pass rush and now we see it in the run game. However, he reads and reacts quickly and once he gets turned and up to speed, the burst is there and he's still able to get to the back and make the tackle. Finally, let's take a look at the Duke game as Jones defends the quarterback power coming his way. Again, he's standing up on the edge, and at the snap, number 21 who's coming in motion attempts to seal the edge, but Jones does a good job here of staying square to the blocker and using his hands with good extension to shed him aside and get in on the tackle for another short gain. A lot of defenders here will just try to throw in his shoulder, but he does a good job using his hands, staying square, and getting in on the tackle. Jones is an explosive athlete, especially with his first step, shows heavy hands at the point of attack, and plays with a consistently high motor. Though he's a bit rigid, could stand to improve his counter moves, and occasionally slips off some tackles, he has the ability to be a difference maker on the defensive line. Pitt comes into 2020 with one of the top defenses in college football, and Jones is a big reason why. Big things are in store for Jones this season, and we could be hearing his name called early in the 2021 NFL Draft because of it. Make sure to go get the SIS Football Rookie Handbook or register for a free trial on the SIS Data Hub to see all of these stats and more for every player, and also tune in each week to the Off the Charts podcast. Thanks for watching SIS Film Breakdowns.